Welcome to Starbase 12, Captain Marcus. I am Admiral Nolan Bain. Please take a seat. I am assuming that I am about to receive new orders. We were only examining an asteroid field. Yes. Your new mission is to the Callahan Sector. If memory serves there is little there. What is our assignment? What you may not know is that ships have been disappearing there in increasing frequency. It has earned the nickname Bermuda's Triangle. That sounds familiar. Lonnie do you have any ideas? I believe that the reference is to an area on your Earth where ships and planes used to vanish. It was publicly dismissed until the year 2050 when it was revealed that there were several alien bases below the area abducting humans. That is the right reference. Starfleet has been dancing around the issue, until now. A few days ago, the Tellarite Ambassador Card vanished along with his diplomatic shuttle. It would help if I had something to go on. You do. Lieutenant Activate Hologram. A week ago a probe sent this footage before the probe vanished. A solar system with six planets. It should not be there. Investigate the anomaly and try to find the ambassador. Approaching something. It is some kind of barrier. It came up on us quickly. All stop. Hold position here. It is coming right at us. Full reverse. Get us to a safe distance. We are inside whatever it is. The stars are gone. This must be how the other ships got caught. Have the science officer, engineer, and executive officer meet me in the conference room with their reports in an hour. It appears to be a bubble, a part of another universe. It has been transported to our universe, probably by the explosion of a dark star. Propulsion is online. Communications and sensors may be another matter. Right now we have nothing to use them for. Landing party teams are ready, if we ever have anything to land them on. Why do we not see any stars? That is what I am trying to understand. Captain, the area of space that was transported here has no stars or we would see them. Captain to the bridge. We have spotted a single star and six planets. Dead ahead. Ahead warp one. Close on the solar system. Full scans. Captain's log we have entered the system without incident. We will be investigating the planets from the closest one out to the furthest. We have arrived at the closest planet to the sun, a small, hot one. Report science officer, is there any trace of spacecraft on the surface? Negative Captain. It is a barren landscape filled with boulders and lava pools. Surface temperature 350 degrees. Little chance for life. No spacecraft or debris spotted. Very well. Navigator, take us to the second planet, Bermuda 2. Assuming orbit around planet Bermuda 2. Science officer report on conditions and spacecraft. A hot, steamy world. It appears inhabited by humanoids. No native technology is indicated. One spacecraft is on the surface. Identity is the SS Salem, an or freighter, Federation registry. It is a small distance away from a native village. Outfit a landing party to check on the ship's crew and to investigate the native village. The Prime Directive remains in effect. There is no one at the controls. Let's try below. It's abandoned. We'll check the logs, then head to the village.
It looks pretty idyllic. A primitive, but happy people. What on earth is that? It looks familiar. It looks like a jinn, an ancient evil being in Earth legends. There is nothing on Tricorder. Captain's log repeated attempts to find the crew of the Salem have turned up nothing. We are headed to the next planet, but fully intend to return here to continue the search. We are baffled as to what could have happened. How much longer do we have to wait, Captain? We need to get to work. Ambassador, we are doing the best that we can. Finding a way out of this void will likely take time. Wake me up when we get there. The Ambassador is right. My father expects us at Presidential Headquarters. I realize that the Tellarites have a gruff manner, but I am as frustrated as Ambassador Karg is. We have been searching and searching for a way out. We have only the solar system to guide on. Only short-range sensors are working. Captain to the bridge. Urgent. Commander Jackson, we are showing a plasma leak in our starboard nacelle. Do we have anywhere to land to repair it? Planet 5 of the solar system is closest. Class M. That is all we can tell because long-range sensors are not working. Set a course to the planet. Full short-range scans once we near it. Standard procedures. Check perimeter for hazards. Commence repairs on the nacelle.
It's beautiful. It would make a great place to settle down. I was thinking the same thing. We have work to do. We will stretch our legs for a few minutes. Look it looks like she has been attacked. Ellen is dead. <laughs> Inserting tracking device in the foot of the human. I don't understand why this is necessary. We have not experimented on the humans for a long time. That is just the point. Our technology has improved greatly since we stopped experimenting on them after they were able to detect us. We can learn so much more. Without their star fleet to worry about, we can do all the experiments that we want. That is you hope that their star fleet is not here. If this void clears up, we will be in increased danger of detection. In that case, we will get to learn how their starships fare against our improved saucers.